to the feckless, hypocritical, virtue signaling Democrat leaders of America. You took the time to kneel for George Floyd so you could pretend to care about black people, but I know the truth, the truth you continue to ignore. So now allow me to call you on the carpet for your many failures in the black community that you refuse to acknowledge. How about kneeling to acknowledge that the worst riots and the worst instances of police brutality in this country are in your cities, in your cities alone? You are the common denominator. How about kneeling to apologize for having some of the lowest minority, literacy, and graduation rates, but some of the highest single motherhood, abortion, and black-on-black -black crime rates in your own districts that you yourselves represent? How about kneeling for the millions upon millions of black children who never got a chance to live because your friends over at Planned Parenthood butchered them before they even had a chance to be born? How about kneeling for the untold numbers of my ancestors who were lynched by your former counterparts in the KKK for simply daring to ask to be treated as equals? They didn't get justice. And even today, by kneeling and apologizing for your white privilege, you still don't treat us as equals. You feel like you have to apologize for your privilege because deep down, you still think that you're better than us by default. If you'd actually held your friend Amy Klobuchar accountable for not prosecuting Derek Chauvin when she had the chance to after he had 10 complaints filed against him in his 19 years with the Minneapolis police force, maybe George Floyd would still be alive. The fact of the matter is, if you had to take a knee for every black life lost needlessly due to your failed leadership, you would be on your knees forever. The only black lives that matter to you are the ones that fit your agenda. You know it, I know it, and the world knows it too. Your party is the one that filibustered for months to prevent the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Your party is the one that only had 23% support of the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery, and had 0% support for the 14th Amendment, which granted free slave citizenship, and also 0% support for the 15th Amendment, which gave us the right to vote. The policies you have implemented have been the figurative knees on the necks of my people for centuries. And it is because of you and your failed leadership that many of us still can't breathe today. But I've got news for every last one of you. If you think all you have to do is shamelessly pander and kneel to get the support of people like me, if you think you can wear the kente cloths of the Ashanti, an African tribe known for selling their own people into slavery, if you think you can tear down statues and rename buildings and roads to hide your sordid history from everyone, if you think that's all it takes to win over my people, if you think our skin color will keep us from thinking critically, you've got another thing coming. I'm Namani Felder, and that was absolutely nothing but common sense.